Welcome to Orange County Register Opinion. This is Brian Kaye, and I'm here with noted economist Dr. Arthur Laffer. Dr. Laffer, thanks for joining us. Brian, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's exciting. So we're here to talk about your new book, Eureka, How to Fix California, which was commissioned by the uh, Pacific Research Institute. So really, can we fix California? Oh, yeah, you can fix California. There's no problem that's not fixable. California has a lot of big problems, but they're all really sensible. You know, you can get your tax system fixed. Uh, it's not by raising tax rates, by the way. It's by lowering and getting a broad, low-rate, flat tax. That's what you really need to replace all of your silly taxes here. And you can create a political economy of prosperity. You know, you, you have to reform some of the commissions, sunset provisions. A lot of them are doing good. So, you know, I'm not saying that. But you should evaluate them every five years to make sure that you get rid of the ones that aren't effective anymore. And you keep the ones that are doing a great job. And so specifically on your, on your tax proposal for California, what are you proposing in the book? I'm really proposing getting rid of the payroll tax, getting rid of all property taxes, getting rid of all income taxes, getting rid of all sales taxes, getting rid of all of these taxes in California and replacing them with two flat rate taxes, one on business net sales and one on personal unadjusted gross income. If you did that and made it static revenue neutral, in other words, no tax increase or tax reduction, just collect the same amount of revenues you do today all right, from all these hundreds of taxes, uh, you could do it at about 5.8 to 6% tax rate. And you would match all state and local taxes. And you're proposing that, though, at a time when Governor Brown is seeking a tax increase from the voters. Well, there's going to be a ballot proposition there uh, that's going to do that. I hope it doesn't go through. If it does go through, I think it'll hurt your state, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm also proposing that there's a problem with the public service unions here in the state. I mean, everyone knows that. I mean, California's pay per classroom teacher is the highest in the nation and they know the test scores are the second lowest in the nation we know we all know that it's a it's a failed system it's not because your teachers aren't good your teachers are great and they really are they love their students they really are great it's the structure of the union that's really the problem there and that's got to be reformed too i mean a lot of states are if you look at the right to work states versus the forced union states the differences in growth are now enormous i mean right to work states grow much faster than you know, these are just the facts, and that's what's out there. We have a huge body of evidence, which I, I hope is portrayed correctly in the book, of just you know, what the results are of state and local policies when they put them in. Now, yesterday you were in Sacramento meeting with Democratic legislators who control the power structure in Sacramento. Were they receptive to some of the messages? I think so. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's a Democrat alive who doesn't know there's not a problem here in California. So, I mean, and I don't know any Democrat or Republican either. I mean, I don't want to be partisan in this because it's just good economics. But I don't think there's anyone up there who would run their family the same way they run their state government. I don't think there's one of them up there in Sacramento that would run their own business the way they run the state government in Sacramento. Or the federal government either, for that matter. They, they know there's a real problem. It's just getting them together to solve it. And we've done it in the past, and we can do it again and create the huge prosperity that California so rightfully deserves. And in the U.S., by the way, too. It's not just California, but the U.S. And you're seeing some of your, your, the policies that you've advocated in this book implemented elsewhere. Oh, yeah. In fact, what's going on in Oklahoma with Mary Phelan and the, the whole party there, what's going on is really wonderful. I mean, Kansas, Sam Brown back on the legislature there, it's great. Mitch Daniels in Indiana, I mean, what's going on with Scott Walker in Wisconsin, that's going on in New Hampshire with the right to work bill there. What we got in Washington State, we eliminated, the, we, we pushed down the state tax initiative there by the Gateses of all people. <coughs> I mean, if you look what's going on in Florida with uh, Rick Scott or Tennessee, we're going to get rid of our estate tax in Tennessee. They got rid of the estate tax in Ohio. And it's not only Republican. Look at Rhode Island. Rhode Island did a great job with this new person there. So, you know, it's Democrat and Republican. Cuomo's done an amazing job in New York. You'd never have guessed it. Well, well I appreciate your optimism, and I hope that we could uh, find a way to fix uh, the once golden state. Thanks very much for I joining I guarantee it, Brian. <laughs> thanks, thanks. It's my pleasure. This Thank is you. Brian Kaye for Orange County Register Opinion.